The art of photography has been around world since the 1800s. With this beautiful art form, we have been able to capture the most beautiful moments of our lives, as well as the darkest moments of our history. Today, two photographers will be going head to head to not only test their technical photography skills, but to also see who can capture the best moment in time within one image. My name is Ivio Bailey. I shoot uh, fine arts and beauty. I shoot with a Canon 6D Mark II, and I've been shooting for a little over a year and a half. My name is William Gomez. I've been shooting for about a year and a half. I shoot with a Sony camera, a7 III. When I see Ikyo's work, I see a true artist. He's able to tell such a beautiful story with one simple image, as well as pulling out such a strong emotion from his subject. Definitely looking forward to just like having fun and using the different sets. Um, I haven't used any of the sets yet, so I'm looking forward to just testing them out. I'm anticipating a good, clean, fun competition. My, my opponent uh, has been doing this for a little bit longer than me, but it's, it, it's fun, it's a fun competition. What I love about Will, although he's new to photography, is his ability to adapt to different environments, to adapt to different niches, and learn quickly on his feet to still capture such a great image. In today's episode, our photographers will be shooting on two separate set designs. The first one being a classroom set design, and the second one being a retro vintage set design. Today's shoot is powered by Godox. Our photographers will have access to five Godox 8600 strobe lights, as well as parabolic soft boxes, strip boxes, beauty dishes, spotlights, snoots, barnyard doors, and a lot more. On both of these sets, our photographers will have 10 minutes each to set up lighting, get the model comfortable, pose the model, and capture three perfect raw images, unedited, untouched, fresh, raw, out the camera. Let the shooting begin. Not gonna lie, the first couple of shots, I was just really testing the light, but once it got going, it got going. Maya's a great model. It was really dope, actually. Um, not gonna lie, the first couple of shots, I was just really testing the light, but once it got going, it got going, and things were just real smooth. Everything came out great. Maya's a great model. It was just good. Was, a lot of them, I had like three different temperatures throughout them. So it was like the colder ones are like different, get a different feel. But those last set with the warmer, like 6,000 Kelvin, that was like, it was real smooth, real, I would, I would go as far as say like editorial. I had to try to get my thoughts correct and how, how I wanted to actually shoot her. I went, I went with a gel, a yellow gel. I wanted to, her to be like a little bit as a uh, teacher, teaching something. And then the second, the second one was her being like a student, being like a rebel.
Continental is a lifestyle brand that is partly inspired by sustainable living. Sustainability is important because it contributes to the longevity of our environment and humanity as a whole. I want Cottonelle to become a household name that inspires customers and businesses alike to partake in sustainable practices for our environment. People should be able to feel comfortable and relaxed in their own style that is unique to their taste. Okay, so yeah, when I walked in, I saw the vintage set. Um, first thing that popped into my mind was like, okay, vintage is usually like a warmer and grainier. I'm probably not gonna do the rainy part, but I always remember seeing like older TV shows have this tint. Like they have a tint of some sort. So I chose green, um, went with all the accents that was in the room. It was fun. Definitely like his instructions and definitely how to, you know, move around. Definitely my favorite so far. Um, that one is much better in terms of lighting and uh, just like speed too. I think I set up a little faster this time. Um, I did a little bit of like green tint on my pictures, so they came out to be really like, like they really encompassed the, the scene. So I definitely like this one. A little, a little something different, basically. I want to bring to the table so it can be a little bit more artistic. Well, it was fun. Well, already showed me how his vision was already, so it kind of made it a little easier to just, you know, step into the poses and kind of give him the shots he was looking for. I went with a vintage disco, like 80s type of vibe. It was definitely fun. We should definitely do this again, like, again, again, again. I definitely liked it. Hey, hey guys! My name is Des and this is T. And we're starting a new podcast it's called hard. Slow to Speak. Yes. yes, that's as in quick to listen, slow, slow to, to speak. speak. It's an opinion based podcast. So we're is really it? excited for you guys to check us out every Wednesday on all platforms. Platforms. See you soon. There are a lot of apps that can feel like that for cooking, and there are a lot of apps that can feel the cleaning. 1 800 maids, y'all better pay me. But you're missing the wow factor to get from the friend zone pond to the I'm smashing her pond. Okay. Right? Okay. This is a large leap. <laughs> <laughs> no, it don't gotta be love. That's Popeyes true because if you're like me, you just need to good. survive, baby. <laughs> that's not corny. That's, that's law. Corny is the shit that makes you cringe. Like